Hey, what's up everyone? It's Donnie Ultimate here playing Pokemon Soul Silver. But I bet you didn't know that. On the last episode, we took down Lance. Yeah, we took down Lance. It was an immense battle, and a lot of people enjoyed it. So in this episode, we're going to uh, actually start on the after game. Um, Pokemon Soul Silver after game is like the best after game of any Pokemon game. Even the ones that came out after it. So far, I don't know what black or white two is gonna do, but yeah, that I know of. So yeah, let's go. Um, first off, we lead here in our house that we didn't be been to since the first episode. Um, nothing really has changed. I didn't even get to play my Wii. Wii is huge in Johto too. Ah, <laughs> uh, they just rubbed it in there now. Oh, look at mom! Hi, mom, the one who was calling me throughout my adventure. Messing up the moments and and stuff. <laughs> anyway, hi AJ. Professor Elm told me that he has something to give you. Ooh, I wonder what it is. So let's go see and find out, shall we? Ah, it's good to be home. Anyway, let's see what Professor Elm has to, has in store for us. Um, oh there he is. I forgot he looked for a second. <laughs> AJ, there you are. I called because I have something for you. See, it's an SS ticket. Now you can catch Pokemon in Kanto. And yes, now we have an SS ticket. Now we can go to Kanto. Yes, the whole region. Home of Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur. <laughs> Mind you, we could get one of them as starters too. But I'll tell you that later. Later. Much, much later. But anyway, the ticket will let you take the fast ship that departs from Olivine City. But you knew that already, AJ. Yes. It's down the ultimate, but I bet you already knew that. Yes. Yes. See, Professor Elm knows. <laughs> After all, you adventured all over with your Pokemon. Give my regards to Professor Oak and Kanto. So, in order to go to Kanto, you have to fly over to Olivine City. Now, if you don't have fly, then you, you're going to have a long walk. Oh, wait. Let me switch over to... Um, the champion MVP here, Tsunami, as the first Pokemon in my party, because he, him and, um, and Omega are the only, only Pokemon that's not on level 40 yet, so, yeah. But anyway, let's fly here to Olivine. Wow, it seems like a whole, like, weight has been lifted off my shoulders ever since I took off, um, took out Lance. It's like, I feel so carefree now. I can do anything! Just Lance, that was that was a battle. Oh, what well, do you know? It's Professor Oak. Professor Oak. Yeah, I knew it. <sighs> Hello! You are starting to have an attitude of a champion, AJ. But yet, Lance is still the champion when you go to the Pokemon League. That's what I don't get. But anyway, it's time for your Pokedex to match who you are. Let me see your Pokedex for a second. I'll upgrade I'll upgrade your Pokedex with the with the national mode. So, he's pretty much giving us the National Pokédex. Yeah! It won't be easy to complete the National Pokédex. However, I'm sure you will make an honest attempt on our behalf. So, he's pretty much saying that you're not... You're pretty much not going to um, complete it. But... Um, you're going to do a really good job, though. Of not completing it. <laughs> I have a radio show to record at, at Goldenrod Radio Tower. You must be heading for Kanto. If you come near Pallet Town, do drop by my professor... Professor Pokemon Research Lab. Ah. But anyway, let's talk to this guy. Welcome to the fast ship SS Aqua. May I see your SS ticket? And we flash it. Okay, you have the ticket. We're departing soon. Get on board quick. Yeah, it turns out that we're the last passenger. We're always the last passenger. In any game, whenever we have to take on, go to a ship, we're always the last one. Because we're, cause we're cool like that. <laughs> Okay, you must be the last passenger. See? But unlike other games, you can actually do stuff in this ship. Like, um, like in Lee Green and Fire Red. But anyway, here we are. In SX Aqua. And some old man just bumped into us. Whoa, excuse me, I was in a hurry. My granddaughter's missing. She, she's just a wee girl. If you see her, please let me know. Wow, you don't even know me, dude. I could have been... Alright, let me stop. 
Yeah, no, you guys know where I was going. What's that? A trowel. I could have been Petal Bear. Anyway, so this guy's sleeping. What? What? I'm awake, of course. And he goes back to sleep. Ah. Well, this guy is total. Is he? Yes. Don't he work on his ship? He's not supposed to be sleeping. Ah, but he's gonna be. He's gonna be. Um, in the story. Well, the storyline of this. But um. Anyway, yeah. Oh yeah. This is our room. But it turns out we have to look for that girl. Cause we all know that the main characters of every Pokemon game has to be nosy in every in everybody's business, and always gotta help up, help out. Boo -hoo. Oh, and yeah, we have a lot of trainers on here. So here we have a fire breather. I'm going to Kanto to put on a fire bre put on fire breathing shows. Cool. I wonder who's gonna watch. Actually, I'll be that like that random party pooper that come in with a with a Charizard. No, as a matter of fact, my flame, my Typhlosion. And just use like a uh, flamethrower and like blow them out the box. Um, my pretty sure is level tape. Surf. I'd be like, oh wow, look at his fire breathing techniques. And I was like, uh uh, look at my Pokemon's fire breathing techniques. And my flamethrower would be like, like 10 times bigger than his. And then people will leave him and then I'll get all the money. Yes, that's life. <laughs> but anyway, here's another coffin. A lot of Pokemon here. Or in the late, like they're kind of late 30s, and some of them are level 40s and stuff. Not really to worry about. If you took down Lance, you can take down anything. So yeah, um, a lot of you have been asking um, that since I'm going to Kanto, will I um, switch switch my Pokemon for Kanto for the Kanto starters where we get it? My answer is no. I'm sorry. It's the same answer that when you asked me. Am I gonna use like um am I gonna use Lu um Lugia in my um team? Am I am I gonna use any legendaries? No, I'm not gonna use I think legendaries are like a bit much. I mean come on. You have six Pokemon you've been training with throughout the, your whole adventure, then you gonna just take them out to take on a legendary? To me that's not that's not as challenging. It's not as challenging at all. So that's why I didn't pick no legendary on my team. Um so yeah. So yeah, I won't be picking those starters. Um, you also could get um Hoenn starter, a Hoenn starter, in this game. And I oh, don't worry, I'm a, I'm gonna cover everything in Kanto actually, so you don't have to worry about that. So yeah, take down this guy. Um, I'm gonna end this episode after we actually done with this the ship actually. So it might be a bit long. Who knows? That's what she said. Now, let's go in here. Oh, we have a double battle over there. Hey, kid, you want to battle with me? Oh, it's not like I have a choice. Because when you lock eyes with a trainer, you must battle them. Oh, he's a deli bird. Deli birds aren't bad, actually. Well, no, I'm talking about like they—they they aren't bad to to beat up, <laughs> but they're like they're bad as a Pokemon though. Like deli birds are pretty bad. And then I got this move called Present. And it's supposed to be like a his special move or something because in the anime he been throwing out presents and stuff. But I, I, I really don't get it. If you guys if you guys more know more about Deli Bird, then feel free to explain it to me because I really do not know. Anyway, this Deli Bird is down. This is his only Pokemon. And it looks like Tsunami's on level 40s. Awesome. Our team is coming together nice. <laughs> Anywho, um, I'm gonna heal up my tsunami, and um, now he's level 40. I'm gonna put um, Omega in front because he didn't really get any action on the champion. Uh, yeah. Oh, and it turns out I didn't buy no um, I didn't stock up on items because I just well, I still have some full stores. I have like five left. Doesn't matter. But yeah, um, Omega, he didn't really have any um, spotlight in the champion battle. Because, you know, all of them were flying. I don't even know why. Um, I'll keep Lucky there. It'll be all Omega and Lucky to take on these two. Oh, it looks like they can't walk up to you. Wow. But they can't in Platinum. I don't get that. <laughs> you think I'm a baby? That's not fair. I'm not a baby. That's, a, that's not a nice thing to say. Well, I'm going to tell you a lot of things that, that was wrong with that sentence. She said, 
you think I'm a baby. So if I think she's a baby, I didn't say anything. And then she said, um, what you said wasn't nice. I didn't say anything. I thought it. You see? Me being literal. <laughs> I'm a big break, Teddy Sora, and... You Shadow Ball. No, I'm gonna use extra sensory on Fanfy. I'm so happy that all my Pokemon are like, um, are fully evolved though. And this guy used Endure, so even if it wasn't one hit KO, he's gonna survive. Ah, but it turns out he didn't need it. So, uh, <laughs> that was a waste. The Teddy Sora here should have used it because Teddy Sora is automatically done for. Bye, Teddy Sora. But look at them, they're so cute. It's Teddy Sora and Fanfy. But of course, they're females. The females always gotta get the, the cute looking Pokemon, but they're weak. But the only thing is that Teddy Sora and Fanfy, they, they're beasts when they evolve. Oh my gosh, they're freaking beasts. Oh, Megan Peg. Wow, the name's rhyme. Wow. Who named him? Especially this big head guy over here. Anyway. Uh, let's go into here. I'm gonna battle everybody on this, uh, train. Oh! Oh, hello! My granddaughter's still missing. If she's on the ship, that's okay. She's an energetic child, so she may be bothering someone. That worries me. <laughs> what if she was, like, bothering, like, the driver of this ship, and, like, the ship just blew up because she, she was messing around with the controls? That'd be cool. Yeah, I have, a, I have a weird mind. But you guys knew that. If you guys were here from with me since the very beginning, you already know I'm weird. A lot of Let's Plays are weird. Most likely all of them, but... <laughs> but yeah, um... Let's see what's over here. It's probably a trainer battle over here. Some guy... Oh, it's a guy barfing. Er, I'm seasick. Yeah, you're seasick, but you're totally capable of... Um... Are battling me. Oh, that's that is not a good matchup, actually. Uh, psychic type versus uh, fighting type. So I'm gonna switch out into Lucky here. You Shadow Ball. Although Ampharos do do have Signal Beam now. He learned that um, when we ended Lance's reign. But anyway, hit him with a Shadow Ball, and I should one hit KO it. But Mr. Mime has good defense, so. I mean, it's a Mime. He could create, like, a Doors out of nothing. It's nice how they made a pre evolved form to it, though. Um, Mime Jr. Like, that's really creative. But, and this guy is a pretty good psychic wall. Pretty good, actually. Very good, actually. But anyway. Yeah, we took him down. Oh, this guy has a magma. Um, 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 tsunami. I'm just using my level 40s here. And my level 39, my one level 39. Just taking these guys out. And I don't know, but what is magma? Is magma like a, a duck or something? I think he's a duck. Is he? Like some kind of fire duck? Cause this dude looks really weird, but his stuff, but his um um claws and stuff, it it it, it isn't webbed or anything. Or whatever, I don't know. Lava boom. That's real smart. That's times four resistance to it. Ha, gosh, what an idiot! These guys don't know how to switch out or something like they do in the Pokemon League. Anyway, I ain't complaining. Oh, a mud choke. Uh, let's send out Abri and just annihilate this guy in one move. Oh, Abri's a boss. About to level up to level 44. Then I have two level 44s. My other level 44 is Flame. I'm not sure what level Ampharos is on. Volti is on, though. I gotta check. He's probably close to level 4. 44. Anyway, mud choke is down. Boom! And Avery is now level 44. The team is coming together nice. Quite nice.
Anyway, he took him down. And who's calling? Oh, we didn't know! To start off the episode of the Day After Game, guess who's calling? And even though we talked to her a few minutes ago, my mother. Hey, kid. Could I get you to look for my buddy? Buddy? He's taking it easy somewhere. That's good. That good for nothing. I want to find him, but I'm on guard duty and have to stay right here. And then he won't let you go. Um, I don't know why. He won't let me go. I would just like only if you use Her like your, your Pokemon on situations like this. <laughs> I'm <be> like <laughs> Omega Brick Break his back so you can shut up. But anyway, yeah, the guy that we was talking to that was sleeping. Uh, that's the guy he's talking about. <laughs> he just jumped out of bed. What? You're saying I was asleep? I can't talk. Show some respect. A cool man of duty would never be so unmindful as to take a nap in a place like this. I resent your implication. I challenge you. Now, when you challenge somebody like this and you lose, how do, it makes you, like, feel really bad. Oh, much, uh, fighting, bugging fighting versus fighting. Who will win? Who? Oh, I have Aerial Ace. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, that much truck was down. Boom. Oh, he has one HP left. Wow. Okay. Vital throw. That does nothing at all. Let me just brick break you. Well, that sounded so wrong. All right. And now he's about to send out Side Duck. So, guess who we're going to use? Oh, Voltage level 44. I mean, 42. He, he's close. He's close. Voltage. And I was really um surprised when I found out that Flame was like the fastest Pokemon in out of every Pokemon in the Pokemon League. That is so cool. Um, there's no need to use Thunder now. I only use Thunder for um for the Pokemon League. I don't really even need it. I just keep it anyway, just in case. But anyway, just try to check him out. It's not a one hit KOs, or close to one or two hit KOs. Uh, much hope. Let's use Lucky this time. Hit him with a fly. And plus, oh yeah, and much hope has no guard ability. So that means no matter what move any Pokemon um, uses, is never going to miss. Just like when I fought um, Bruno in the uh, Elite Four. Yeah, so you use a wake up slap and I'm in the air. Yeah, that's 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 real smart. But yeah, that, that that's really logical. Really logical. And plus, I'm already awake. What are you using wake up slap for? That's like the most horrible move to give to a, a power beast like Macho. So now he uses Vital Throw. That takes pretty good. Plenty. Oh yeah, I have extra sensory, I forgot. So Metro goes down. And let's see how much experience he gets. Ah, so close. But we beat Stanley. Mm, I just woke up, I couldn't focus. Yeah, excuses, excuses. Losing to you has woken me up. I will mend my ways and work hard. Can you keep it a secret that I was taking a nap here? Please don't tell the captain. Alright. Uh, so, you come up to me, yelling at me, and then challenge me to a battle and expect me not to tell? Well, excuse me, but of course. <laughs> but anyway, this guy should let us through now. Let's see what he says. Thanks, kid. I yelled at him good, so he'll quit slacking off. Is he in here? Yes, he is. Oh no, he's not. That's some random trainer that I almost missed. Wow. Nothing beats a battle when I'm on my break. Well, I wouldn't know because I'm actually traveling. I don't take breaks, buddy. Alright, Omega is out. Aerial Ace. Oh I'm... yeah, introducing the third generation Pokemon. There's gonna be a lot. Well, there's plenty of ger third generation Pokemon. I'll probably miss some who wasn't paying attention. But yeah, Makuhita. Makuhita is actually a good Pokemon. But it evolves into that sumo wrestler Pokemon. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Except you fly, psychic, extra sensory, side beam, aerial ace, uh, aeroblast. <laughs> I'm just naming all these weaknesses. 
Aren't I funny? Quick break. Oh, double edge. Ooh. Well, that actually doesn't last. Well, you just probably just one hit KO yourself because, uh. Big break and you nothing to mess with. Eradicate. One of the most annoying. If I ever saw Eradicate in real life, if you saw Eradicate that size in real life, I would pass out. Well, not that size. You know, like, in real life, it was like 10 feet tall or something. No, not 10 feet, like 5 feet. But anyway, we're back here in the generator room thingy. And there should be a girl over here. Yes, it is. And mom is calling me again. Stop calling me, mom. I'm so bored. Want a battle? Sure, why not? I didn't even heal my, my Omega. But Omega's Omega. You don't need to heal. Especially to a Sea King. Oh yeah, oh yeah, did I tell you guys that Omega... Oh yeah, I told you guys. Omega learned close combat. So I'm just use it, try it out. I'm not gonna use it a lot because it loses um, defense and special defense. So I'm not gonna use it until like it's necessary, but I just wanted to show you guys. And it turns out it will only take him out in one, in one hit. Well, technically it was more than one hit. And Omega might actually faint. Wow. Underestimation. No, Omega! Alright, I'm gonna just use... Nah, I'm gonna use Tsunami. Oh, I'm feeling gutsy right now. Uh -huh. He sounds like a whale. Earthquake? We didn't really get to see Earthquake, did we? Not really. Earthquake? Earthquake is a beastly move. But you know what I just realized about that Mudchoke thing with the no guard ability? If you actually have a one hit KO, like Kyogre and Ground on does, like Fissure and Share Cold, you can just hit it and won't care about the accuracy, because it has like 20% accuracy. Like, out of 2 out of 10 times, you'll be able to hit it. Which is, like, crazy. But anyway, I'm used to revive. Uh, and stop underestimating. <laughs> I'm not gonna heal it fully, though. There's no need. Anyway, let's go. Up the stairs. And... Around here. This should be the, uh, the captain's room. So anyway, uh... Captain, play with me, please! I'm bored! I wanna play more! Whoa, that sounds so, like, wrong. And there's an old man. She talked to an old man. <laughs> anyway, how are you going to play with me? Let's play hide and seek. I hide, so close your eyes. So yeah, that's the guy, that's the girl that the guy was looking for. Thank you for playing with her. Whoa, you may think that being a captain is a somewhat easy job, but it's actually quite demanding. That little passenger has gone out of the room. She can't get off the ship, so she must be hiding somewhere around here. And I know exactly who she is. Why? Because of memory. You're nothing without memory. Well, I just noticed I could just walk over like that instead of going around. Wow, what is my... Wait, is there an item over there? Wait, let me check real quick. Is there an item over there? Because that's just like a random place. Wow. Oh, wow. I thought there was like some secret thing. Uh, I don't know, guys. I'm losing it. I'm losing my fire. Nah, no, I'm not. But anyway, yeah, the girl is over here. So you can see our ribbon boat thing. How did you find me? Oh, you found me. I better go back to my grandpa. All right. And we somehow magically teleported there. Grandpa, here I am. I was playing hide and seek with this guy. AJ, was it? I heard you entertain my granddaughter. Whoa! Come on. Who made who made this? <laughs> I want you to thank. I want to thank you for that. Take this. And he gives us the metal coat. If you give a metal coat to uh, to Skyther and trade it, he'll he evolve it to Scizor. And if you get the metal coat to Onyx and trade it, he'll uh, evolve it to Steelix. That's all I'm pretty know right now. But anyway, fast ship, fast ship SS Aqua has arrived to Vermilion City. So yeah, we arrived. So I'm going to heal up real quick in my dorm, which is not here. Gosh, fails, fails, fails. Um, I think it's right here. 
yeah. So let's go heal up and then we'll leave. A comfy bed, time to sleep. Alright, now that we're here, we're gonna leave the ship forever. No, I think you can go on it again. But whatever. But now that you're done with the storyline of the, the ship, uh, magically we arrive here, like right after. Anyway, fast ship SS Aqua has arrived in Vermilion City. So we can just go over it and then I'm just leave. No, I'm just... Like, what if we do all that work to back up and I just like, oh, I forgot something. Anyway. What? The ship won't go anywhere today. So it's gonna stay there for a whole day. Wait, everybody's still inside. Seems legit. <laughs> Move! God. He doesn't even say anything, he just stares at me. What do you gotta say? You came from Johto, I envy you. I hear many rare Pokemon live over there. Tell me about it. Alright guys, I'm going to end this off here. So in the next episode, we're going to go over to Vermilion City. And see what it has in store for there. Alright guys, see you guys. So see you guys then. Oh yeah, and be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Boom!